Hey guys, what's up? Shin0525, make another how to draw video. Uh, this video is going to be on uh, Sonic.exe. He's like a demonic Sonic program thing. It's kind of like Tails doll, like creepy pasta stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be drawing that. As always, I pre drew it. Uh, this is like the ink um, outline, and uh, I shaded in like the eyes and the nose because they're black. So I just made it black. And, uh, yeah. And this video was requested by uh, Brave Girl 3311 aj So thank you very much for your request. And I hope you enjoy the video. And I'll put your name in the annotations. Because why not? Why not? I'll do it for everybody. So, yeah. Alright, okay, guys. Um, yeah, I have no more announcements. So, uh, enjoy. Hey, guys. What's up? So, yeah. Okay, so when you're going to start off drawing Sonic.exe, uh, um, what you're going to want to do is uh, start out like you normally draw Sonic with, you know, like the C shape, and then you go into the I. Um, very standard. Again, this starts out like most of my how to draw videos of Sonic. So, um... Yeah, I think I do with like the same eye set. So if you want even more detail on how to do it, you could see like my how to draw Sonic video. But I'm assuming you guys already seen this. But yeah, you just start as a C shape and just go in, and then you go into the muzzle. Um, what I do for this one, I just draw like the muzzle like really normal. But like for a smile, uh, I'll draw that in and then just kind of change the muzzle around it. But if you do the muzzle part, then you draw the nose, which is like a little oval, like a long oval with like a uh, circle in it. Oh wait, and now for the eyes, uh, you just draw like a, like an oval like that. And then I went on the other side and drew an oval. And then for the pupil, I kind of did like the one piece like shock eyes, which it's basically just a small like circle but with like not a complete circle but with like a dot in the middle so it's like you draw like a uh, like a C around like a C and then like another C it, it, you basically draw a circle but like don't complete it and then just put a dot in the middle it looks pretty good for like crazy eyes or shocked and now I draw the mouth which is just kinda like a curved line that goes like up And then like, it goes down and then around. And now I just kind of um, just form the muzzle around it. Like where is like um, the top of the mouth. It kind of goes up a little bit. So I kind of made the muzzle go up. And then where the bottom of the mouth I brought that a little bit down. And I just drew a line underneath the mouth just to kind of show like lips. And now I just went into his um like eyebrow things, which again same. It's it's basically like just drawing Sonic again. Like there's not like too many key differences between um Sonic.exe. Like there's nothing that really like stands out. It's basically just like normal Sonic mixed in with like a little Fleetway. So after you get the eyebrows done. You go in and draw the spikes. Um, what I did was I kind of just went into like detail on the first spike. So I just went up and drew like a little spike, kind of like Sonic Boom, and then just kind of like just kept making like spikes come out, like make a big one, then go back in, make another small one. I uh, just it kind of just gives it like a messed up like like crazy look. And then after I did that spike, I kind of went in and just um, did the spikes like normal, like just um, like a normal spike, no like jagged like spikes on it. And then I kind of just completed where like his neck or like the circle part of like his lower face would be. And I just drew the spike just to kind of get like where they're supposed to be. And then I go in and now I am... Um, you know, draw like all the crazy multiple spikies 
stuff on it. Just to kind of give it like a really messed up look. And I just follow like the line I made. And now I go into the ears, which the ears I just go into like straight detail. It's basically just, again, just spiky, keep them sharp. Don't make them like the same size, just to make it look like crazy and all messed up. And just kind of follow the shape of the ear. Again, it's like a triangle shape with like another triangle in it. And then uh, at the end, you just draw a curve line going in. It's not that hard. Um, same thing with this ear, except this one I kind of map out beforehand, uh, and then just draw spikes. So you basically just do a triangle with like no bottom for the first one, and then a triangle with a bottom, and then a line going through. Like that. Very simple. Okay, next, I kind of um, do like a gesture outline for the body. So I just did a curved line going out. That's going to be his like stomach. And then um, after I got like about the right size for his like stomach area, uh, then I went and did the legs. And then the arms. And then his left arm, it would be on the right side of the picture though, uh, just goes straight down and then his um, right arm just kind of goes out. And then just line straight down for the legs. Okay, and now for the body, I just kind of did like a kind of like jelly bean type shape. For like his stomach, cause like pushing like his stomach out, and he's like he has like his back really bent, it's kind of because he's like crazy and I don't know, just, it just felt right. So I just did this jelly bean type shape for the body, following the curve line I made, and then I just did a little spike going out, and then I believe I went to the feet. Yeah, I just went straight into the legs. And you just kind of start off, like, after you made that jelly bean shape, just kind of go into the legs. And now I think I actually went into the, I just drew the stomach, like the skin part of his stomach. Um, right there. And then I, um, put the legs underneath, because it helps to know where this, like, stomach is, so you know, like, how far to put the legs down. Because, like, if you put them down too far, it, it just doesn't look right. So it's better just to do the stomach, and then after you get the stomach just a little bit down, that's where the crease of the legs go. And after you get the legs in, then I drew the tail. And I think I just went into the shoes, yeah. And again, these are just normal Sonic shoes, so you do that like curve line going across the legs. And then you just kind of go in, do like that curve with like the check mark. And I'm sorry if I'm being a little vague on like the explanation for this, but like I literally did this for like every Sonic video. So if you, I, if I, I think I go in better detail in other videos, like how to draw tails or knuckles or Sonic, but like it's getting to the point where. It's like, it's the same thing. But, um, and like, I like drawing the shoes, like, the way I do, because I usually draw them like this, and like my how to draw videos, mainly because it, you just get the shoes on two different angles. So I have like one foot kind of more towards us, and then the other foot's like completely on its side. Uh, just because it, it looks better, and, um, and you get practice on drawing like the shoes at different angles. So that helps. And yeah. And again, like, if you want to watch, like, my other How to Draw videos, like, earlier How to Draw videos, like, Sonic's Head, or, like, Tails, or I think even, like, Sonic Boom. Maybe not Sonic Boom. Because I, I just assume you guys watch these videos already. 
Uh, okay, after I finished the shoes, I went into the arm, which is really simple, since we already have that guideline for it. Just two lines going straight down. And then just kind of a curved line. Again, the exact same way you would handle the um, like his socks coming out of his shoes. Do the same thing for the glove. And now for his hand, I just kind of did like a really quick like gesture for like how big I want the like fist to be because he's making a fist and like the back side of it is like facing towards us. Uh, mainly I did this because I, I, I didn't want to draw fingers twice. So after I get that shape, I kind of like gesture in the thumb a little bit to kind of, it just kind of goes out and it's, it's kind of angular because I made, because like, um, for his hands and like fingers and thumbs and stuff, for like Fleetway, I made it more angular because they look kind of like crazier that way and just a little bit more dangerous. And then for the knuckles, I just did like little like long check mark type shapes and then just like another like small curve line around it just to kind of show like knuckles, even though he has three in this one. Um. And again, for like the fingers, I just did like circles to show where the knuckles are going to be. And um, just I just kept it like jagged instead of like rounded. Just to kind of show like, er, is like making a really tight fist. And I just draw like little like blood coming off of his like finger, like his hand. Um, and it's just like curvy lines. It, it's hard to explain how to draw like liquid blood, but it's just like kind of like drops. I don't know, you could probably, um, look up. Because there's no, like, defined way to draw it. Alright, and now for this arm, I actually went in and drew the curve line for the glove first. And then just drew the two arm lines coming out of it. And then just did what you do, the two check marks. And just for the glove. It's always going to be the same. And like I did, actually for this one, I went into the thumb first and then made the hand around it. So I just started out jagged, like using straight, straighter lines instead of rounded. So, um, yeah. I don't know, I'm sorry I got distracted, the phone just rang. And, um, yeah. So I just went into the thumb, I drew the thumb like bent, like he's making a fist. And then like that muscle like right under your thumb that kind of goes out a little bit, I just drew that in. And I just again gestured in like where the hand's going to be, did the circles for the knuckles. And then just started like drawing lines to show where the fingers are going to go. And now... I just kind of just draw detail. Um, again, keep it jagged and like sharp because he has like. Uh, I looked up Sonic EXE and he had like really sharp pointed fingers. So you can just draw that. And then when you finish all the fingers, just kind of like finish up the hand. And I think I drew like a glove detail, like an impression. And like another line for like that bone that you have at the other side of your hand. Just kind of go over it, make the lines darker, and I just um uh finish it off with that. And like little curve lines to show like the knuckles bending in for like that, like where like your top, like where your nails are, like that knuckle. I just did little blood drops coming off the gloves, and like just a little blood on like his wavy lines on his like fingers to show like oh he has blood on his glove hand thing hey okay, guys that, that's pretty much it now i just color in the eyes and the nose so um yeah well i got like i don't know a little bit of time so yeah it, like drawing sonic.exe is isn't hard it's just um it, it's almost identical to drawing sonic to be honest with you like, you, you put a little Fleetway, like, in the face with, like, all the messed up spiky hair 
And like when you do the gloves, just kind of make it more angular for like the hands and stuff. Just to show like, er, he's making a fist and they're all sharp and scary. But like the shoes stay the same, the body stays the same. Um, the only thing is like the eyes are different, the nose. And yeah, that's about it. Alright guys, uh, there's going to be like an ending part to this video, so yeah. I just kind of clean it up now. So yeah, I'll just stop talking and I'll do like the ending part. Bye right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys, okay, that was it. That's how you draw um, Sonic.exe Sonic. Um, this is just the one I just did, and this is, I'll show you the, um, uh, the, the ink one that I did. So yeah, it came out, actually it came out pretty good. Um, pretty similar to what I drew originally. So, um, yeah. Hey right, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks again to Brave Girl three thirty three eleven AJ um, for the request. If you guys have any requests, leave it in the comments, or if you want me to explain something about how I drew it, um, or like clear something up, you can write that in the comments as well. And um, yeah, so yeah, I can't think of anything else. Bye right, guys, uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next Hydro video. Bye right, guys, see you later, bye bye.